we're asked to consider the equation d divided by 4 equals 12 with the remainder of 3. And number 1 asks, what is the dividend d? So we're looking for a number d. If we divide by 4, we get a quotient of 12 with the remainder of 3. So if we can't just think of this, one strategy might be to solve a simpler equation to help us solve the given equation. A simpler equation would be the equation where there was no remainder, meaning the equation d divided by 4 equals 12. Now if we still struggle to solve this equation, remember for every division problem there's a corresponding multiplication problem. As an example, because we know that 10 divided by 2 is equal to 5, for this division equation, the corresponding multiplication problem would be 5 times 2 equals 10. So if we apply this idea to this division equation here, if d divided by 4 equals 12, then 12 times 4 must equal d. Well, 12 times 4 is equal to 48, so here we have d equals 48, which means we now know that 48 divided by 4 is equal to 12. So knowing this fact will help us solve number 1, where the equation is given with the remainder of 3. If we now know that 48 divided by 4 is equal to 12, and for this equation we have d divided by 4 equals 12 with the remainder of 3, this tells us that d must be larger than 48, again because when we divide by 4, we get 12 with the remainder of 3, which means in this case d is going to have to be 3 larger than 48, so d would be equal to 48 plus 3, and therefore d equals 51 when we have a remainder of 3. And of course, there are several ways to check this, but now we know that 51 divided by 4 equals 12 with the remainder of 3. One way to check this would be to recognize that if this is true, then 12 times 4 plus the remainder of 3 must equal 51. And this is true because here we have 48 plus 3, which does equal 51. Of course, another way to check this would be to perform long division and take 51 and divide by 4. And there are several ways to show this, but we already know that 12 times 4 is equal to 48. So there are 12 4s in 51. 12 times 4 is 48. And if we subtract, notice how we do have a remainder of 3. Now for number 2, we're asked, what would the dividend d be if there was no remainder? And we actually already solved this, this equation here with no remainder, to help us solve number 1. So again, to solve the equation d divided by 4 equals 12 means that 12 times 4 would equal d, and therefore d equals 48. Because 48 divided by 4 equals 12, and therefore for number 2, when there's no remainder, d, the dividend, equals 48. I hope you found this helpful.